Problem number two, weird artifacts in our normal or other height maps. Sometimes when you export your textures and you try to use them, you're gonna realize there's some really weird artifacts in your normal map and height map. That is not because of your expert settings, but because your images have a low resolution of bits. In this case, eight bits. Every node in Substance Designer has this information below. When you have C8, this means the image is at eight bits. And when it's 16L, it holds 16 bits. Now these two are not meant to be mixed inside Substance designer but sometimes out of experience it might happen and i'm going to show you two situations where you are really messing up your bitmaps and causing these artifacts in your outputs first situation is when you connect an 8-bit image to a thread of 16-bit images all nodes in substance have their base parameters set to copy the input parameters of the previous node with this our node will have the same base properties as the node that comes before that is why it changes however it has an easy fix go to the base parameters and click on this icon and set the bitrate to 16 bits this will update the rest of the nodes and fix your problem another situation is when you try to use the blend node as a connector. Why the hell would you do that? There's actually another feature in Substance Designer that is called the dot nodes that allow you to actually connect nodes and move the lines in between them to organize your graph even better. Now, the blend node has three inputs. One of them is for opacity, but the other two are for the two different images you need to input. If you connect only one set of information to these inputs and you leave the other one empty, what's gonna happen is that the blend node is gonna switch to eight bits, making a disaster because as, as I mentioned before, what's gonna happen is that the next node is gonna take the information from the blend node and it's gonna basically copy the other line. Now, the quick fix for this is actually using the right tool for the right job. There's no need to use a blend node in that way and by not using the dot nodes, you are missing on a great feature of Substance Designer called portal nodes. This allows us to connect information into a dot, give it a name and then create another dot that works as an output from the first dot, allowing us to move the information around our graph without having to add more lines to our spaghetti graph.